You know, in manufacturing, part of the challenge is getting your product out of the factory and into the hands of your customers. Uh, once you package that product, you've got to ship it. And shipping it is not cheap. Frequently, it's possible to cube out before you gross out, as they say, or the other way around. In either case, you're losing productivity and you're adding cost. I'm with Praveen Isaac. He's Product Marketing Manager for Honeywell Safety and Productivity Solutions. And Praveen, I understand that in a case of a manufacturer who might have a box, for example, like this, mm -hmm. you have a solution that would optimize the way that this is, is shipped that reduces cost. Exactly. So we are having a product called AutoCube 8200 and it's exactly for such an application where a manufacturing customer wants to ship out boxes, but previously they have been using a manual tape measure to ship out each of the boxes. Now it can be automatically measured and quickly done instantly and with the accuracy that the, many of the shipping carriers currently value. Interesting, so in some cases with what we call a high mix, low volume manufacturing operation, of course, the packaging is radically different. The weight is different, the dimensions of the package are different, in some cases the shapes are awkward. And yeah. traditionally we think of a world in which everything is Cartesian coordinates, so yeah. it's the volume is, is XYZ, mm -hmm. you know, I, uh, out comes the yardstick, and then we guesstimate roughly how it works. Exactly. I understand you have a, a sort of machine vision system here. Exactly. So what, what has happened over the last couple of years is many of the courier providers, they've moved away from just weight-based pricing to dimensional-based pricing. So instead of actually just looking at the weight and finding out the exact pricing, now they have to actually look at the length, width, and height information, use that to calculate the dimensional pricing, and then take the uh, higher of the two to de determine the pricing itself. So once that happens, now it's really important to have an automatic way of measuring the dimensions. And so that's where AutoCube actually plays a big role. So we currently use a 3D depth sensing technology to actually quickly look at a package and estimate the length, width, and height instantly. And the measurements are then transferred quickly to a shipping software. So there are no errors, the accuracy is very high, and it's instant measurements as well. So there are no, there are no tapes, there are no handheld devices attached by cords, there's no human being actually measuring this? Exactly, so I think in the, for say barcode uh, scanning, we went into automation 25, 30 years back, but it's strange that we still currently use manual tape measures for dimensions. And so that's what, we want to avoid that uh, possible chance of error, and we want to automate that process, and now we want to use uh, automatic dimensioning. Mm -hmm. now, is the system easy to learn, is it easy to use? Exactly, it's very easy to use, we can try it right Shall here. Shall we try it right now? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this carton, this representative load, I'm gonna drop this onto what looks very much like a weigh scale, I'm gonna stand back and Praveen, yeah. Show us how it works. Instantly, you have the length, width, and height information right there. So it's as fast as that. It's sub-second measurements. And all you have to do is just place it any way you want on the scale or the measuring surface, and quickly it's done. Do I have to place it down in exact uh, squareness? Can it be slightly off, off center or skewed? Yeah, so, so that's the other thing. So you can actually try it out. If I were to, if I were to take this, for example, and in a hurried production environment, I, I'm going to put it down off yeah. center. So you can place it any way you want, as long as it's in the field of view, you can do the measurements instantly, mm. just like that. Mm. And that measurement now has shown us the height of the parcel, the width, the depth, and also the weight, and the dimensional weight. The cost of dimensional weight, that's the, that's the key to this. That's the most important thing. So if you take a box like this, currently the actual weight of it is just 1.5 pounds. But when you look at the length, width, and height information and find the dimensional weight, what you see is it shows us 9.7 pounds. So most of the couriers now would use the higher of the two. So we would use 9.7 to actually determine the shipping price. So that's where a dimensioning system like this, that's automatic and also very accurate, plays a big role. Well, this is a fairly compact unit at this point. Would it be possible for, say, a high mix manufacturing operation to install this unit at the end of an assembly line, perhaps, uh, with an AGV-driven operation after mm -hmm. final inspection? Exactly. So I think that would be a very good application again. So since it is in a compact unit and it's also very flexible such that the height as well as the angles can be determined and changed as you want, de depending on the packing station or the end of line station, it can be used in multiple scenarios and that scenario would perfectly fit one. Yeah, it's, it, it's very compact also and quite lightweight. This, is, this, this solution, it's, uh, is this expensive? Is it difficult for, for, to train operators to use this? No, so two questions there. So first of all, it's very easy to use. So you, as you just found out, you can use it in a very efficient manner without any training at all. At the same time, to set it up as well, it's pretty straightforward. So it's almost like a plug and play device and you can set it up and without much training, you can start using it. In terms of cost, again, 
compared to many of the dimensioning solutions out there, which are pretty expensive and that, that has limited the adoption for many of the customers. This comes at a fraction of the price of most of the dimensioning solutions out there. And so again, you're opening up new segments just for this. Praveen Isaac has a solution that reduces your shipping costs and maximizes your productivity with Honeywell.